McKinley. I'm the co-founder and executive director of Deliver Fund. Deliver Fund's a nonprofit private intelligence organization that equips, trains, and advises law enforcement and law enforcement authorities on human trafficking activities so they can arrest human traffickers and put them in jail. Enforce lights came out uh, when they first came out. They came out with this very cool light that you could select different types of LEDs. And I was a medic on my team in Iraq, you know, coming from a pararescue background. All pararescuemen are combat divers, so we learn to do everything by feel where you can't really see what, what it is that you're doing. I really liked the fact that I could run an enforced light. Uh, I could program it the way that I wanted it. It made sense for me, but then I could, I could manipulate it without actually having to look at the light. I like to have everything on my weapon on the top rail. So I like to have my sight, I like to have my at peel or my, my laser designator, my, my white light, my iron sight, everything in line. And one of the cool parts about the Enforce light is it has this little lever on the side. And, and it's essentially a positive lockout. You don't need to worry about if you're in a helicopter at night accidentally hitting that pressure switch um, and activating that white light. I didn't have to like pull anything, twist anything, move anything. It's something I could do on the fly. And it's something I didn't have to look at the weapon. I could just, I could just do it by feel. Having been an operative around the world, many different locations, uh, you know, equipment's important. A lot of our guys are constantly tweaking their, their gear, looking for the, the newest, best piece of equipment that we can use. A lot of times we have to purchase that on our own. So what we have found is that, unfortunately, a vast majority of law enforcement departments are grossly under-resourced. What that has led to is they don't have the equipment that they need to maximize their successes in going into these environments. Regardless of whether the department purchases it or the officer procures it themselves, it's incredibly important that they have reliable and durable gear that's going to last. Law enforcement officers have to be able to identify their target before they shoot those, that target. Your local law enforcement officer is usually buying things out of his pocket, so he can't afford a, a $500 weapon light. He needs something that works for his everyday concealed carry while he's out on the street doing what it is that he does. It's super cool to see Enforce roll out a line of products that it really fits that, that need and that uh, and what we, what we need as operatives in the field. A durable product that works well, is easy to use, and is, uh, you know, clearly as a Navy SEAL, like we like things to be very water, not just water resistant, but waterproof and be uh, tested and tried and true. Within the broader tactical market, we need, we need constant innovation. We need companies to constantly be making things stronger, lighter, more power efficient. The innovation within this market actually leads to the survivability of the person who is utilizing the tool. So we need companies, and I think competition between these companies is great, because at the end of the day, that end user who's putting his life on the line, that's the one who benefits. It's, it's that undercover officer who's out there playing the part of a trafficking victim. She's the one who benefits from the innovation, and that's where innovation within that community just drives the survivability of the law enforcement officer or the, the operator even higher.